Welcome to the fire It's real like your name on a flyer Wow, go on, Tef Nation, how y'all doing? Enough love across the community on the Friday here. Yeah? It is at Fridays. And just before we move on to the stories, special welcome to all of the members them who just joined the community. Welcome to the entertainment feed. In the studios with we today, we have ZIS from YGP1 Camp. Enough, enough love people, you don't know ZIS. They are from YGP1 Camp. I mean, I big up the whole of Def Nation and them, everybody who are tuning to the channel daily. Yeah man, the people who tune in daily, I forget them big up. Of course, moving on to the stories though, people. Netflix is set to air an investigative documentary series focused on the 1976 assassination attempt of reggae superstar Bob Marley, titled Remastered Who Shot the Sheriff. The series will focus on various theories as to why and who tried to assassinate the reggae superstar at the pinnacle of his career. It will cover topics such as gang warfare, political scheming, conspiracy theories, corruption and the power of music. The series is set to premiere on the streaming service on October the 12th with a new episode coming each month through May 2019. The documentary promises to shed new light on the reggae icon's December 1976 assassination attempt which left him, wife Rita Marley and manager Don Taylor injured. Everywhere in the world today, Bob Marley is the symbol of freedom. Why would anybody want to hurt Bob? Jamaica was a checkerboard of war zones loyal to one party or the other. There was tremendous fear in the United States that Jamaica was going to become the next Cuba. The political war going on pushed Bob to become the political force we know today as Bob Marley. We do not defend Marxism nor capitalism. We are strictly Rasta. He was changing people's hearts and minds with music, and that was why Bob was such a threat. Bob knew that he was setting himself up as a target, but he was going to risk his own life to unite the people. Peace was way too dangerous for the politicians. In the shooting of Bob, it's very difficult to separate fact from fiction. Everybody had a theory. One party in Jamaica, or that party in Jamaica. We knew that CIA was watching. But you know who did it? The yeah. enemy. Pop looked at me and said, there's no way I'm going on stage without a machine gun. If a directive was given, did it come from the highest level? People who not see all of that, but I want to make this clear, I want to just put it out there. The man them not talk about how Bob Marley dead. Nothing like that. Probably done in another series, but that's not what the series is about. It's about the assassination attempt of a Bob Marley. Politics, gun war, every, every single thing when I just mentioned in the intro. But it's not about how Bob Marley died. I just want to make that clear. But still, the trailer it looked tough. I know people, it looked more than just a documentary. It looked like one of them movies there. We are going to come in a theater, one of them bad action movies there. We are going to premiere in a theater soon. But it's just a documentary. But still, based off of what I see, I'm very interested to see what they going to present to the world about Jamaica, Bob Marley, and all of them things they were going to pass, you know? To any young youth out there that look like a bad action movie, but on that me you want to see. Tef, you say it still, you see me? I just want to see what they might present to the world about Jamaica. Still, people, it is a really good look, not just for Bob Marley, for Jamaica as well, if them deal with the thing the right way. I don't know, I represent for the up top boss, birthday bash, October the 7th. Watch your prayer, man. This Sunday, in October 7th, you know. Don't know, you know, bruff, you know, the up top boss, you know. Don't know, TJ Earthstrong celebration, you know, Galtiga Bay, you know, Ocean Pearl Resort, you know, Fort General Live, you know, bruff, up top boss, live, you know, Rigin King, you know, live, you know, Galtiga Bay, get ready, because you don't know a damn thing. Room, go, pronouns, VVS, VVS, all of my diamonds, VVS. The official lyric video for Popcorn's new single, Silent, has clocked over 10 million views on YouTube. Silent is track number one on the Dancehall Entertainer's sophomore album entitled Forever. His long-awaited follow-up to his excellent 2014 debut album entitled Where We Come From. Forever made its debut at number two on the Billboard Reggae album charts after selling 1,484 copies in its opening week. The 17-track album, which was released on July the 20th, is supported by lead singles Wine For Me and Furman Strong. 
Popcorn, congratulations on that. 10 million views and counting. Yeah, man, unruly boss. Yeah. You don't know you do the thing. You hear that album shot every song you panic. Da, 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 da. What should you tell when you are buying you? Be more careful, do you can't buy dinner. I know anybody poor my drink Popcorn and, and the unruly talks them Say them capture a river and name it unruly river <laughs> But just check out the little clip people Dancehall entertainer Sadiqi the snowman make a little controversial post. You talk them out there. There's a question for the day. I me know the whole of the talks them but they out there in the world. When the mother or the father they've grown up for come to this like what a boy you do. Or you fear wash girl draws that up on line. Eh? You know, sister, some on the boy that's why woman deal to the like pussy dog. Who agrees in a comment? Tell me if this really makes sense. Before I even say anything more, for real, Sadiq, you want to walk over there? See, I yes. I don't know, we don't grow them where they still. I'm saying I represent for the thugs, them still. Big up yourself, Sadiq. Yeah. <laughs> When I was a whole heap of women, I say, oh, what is this? Men came on when them hear me say them things they talk about the thugs, they man, re, re, re. But at the end of the day, <laughs> the women them calm down, the man never does. <laughs> the man just a talk to the man, them who's them a thugs, you know? Because I guess that the brother they will wash the panty or put it up for a line. You can't see that. <laughs> Alrighty, Shana Chin released the official music video for the single entitled Money Team. Money Team with the Pony Money Team. Money Team with the Pony Money Team. And no bleed when you ear with the cream and no leaf when you ear with the green. Money Team with the Pony Money Team. Money Team with the Pony Money Team. People, man, all I see in this music video, the quality and uh, how Shana Chin set up her thing. It made me have a thing Shana Chin come from afar away, you see me? And right now, girl, I do her thing. But whosoever our manager continue to deal with the thing, same way. Although, whether she come and talk about the white man who spend pay, you know? Make them breasts, they look out the way, they look for the music video. <laughs> I'm gonna style a bit. Oh, me fi be a beggar. When me a roll with flight, me a weather. Banks them with a Kyle. Fling them out on stretcher. Spend 30 million a 30 day. Show them all the rims from the Phantom Sphere. Gucci shades and me for Sasha left them breathless like a mobile. Dancehall artists Philip T2K Gold God, DHQ Nikisha and Marvin the Beast set to release their new single entitled Status. Money up now, money up. You know see, Nikki, money up your money up. Step closer, something we bone you up. Choose the weapon over there. Fresh champ for the ice, no well ice out in a new Versace shirt. Hey, hey. Gucci alert. Step off for the plane or step in or something long like it hurts. Hmm. The thing I work, choppers them they both and the choppers them I spend like them emerge. Tell you, what we'll make it worse? Money fully never saw she purse. Sick Rhyme said for release a new music video, but Sick Rhyme play a bag of character in the music video. We not see it yet, you know, but based off of the photos, them where Sick Rhyme upload on the gram. Sick Rhyme was a genie at one point. At one point, Sick Rhyme seemed as if he is a werewolf, Dracula, or something. Then at the next point, Sick Rhyme became a Michael Jackson. But just check it out, still, people. Peeps, you see what time I clock, you see what time I knock, we're up and get the fuck out of here. And as usual, my people, bud. Check out my status, 
Don't check out my status Louis V from my feet the Versace store shut up Don't check out my status You will young to clean Coach is down them and watch us Yo status to status Just step it from my feet Oh God Louis not the status Don't status to status Don't check out me check out my bank account status Fresh up for Canada Shoot on your flame to the fire It's free like your name on a flyer Wow, go on people, how y'all doing? Bless up on the Friday year. It is blazing Fridays. Me know the place kinda bleaky. Through the rain and all of that, so the Friday now the same kind of punch. But still to the stories. National Stadium officials react to Sean Paul's outcry. Stakeholders of the National Stadium have reacted to Sean Paul's recent outcry over health hazards associated with having a metal plant next to the stadium pool. Last week, Sean Paul took it to Instagram calling out the Jamaican government over placing a welding plant next to the stadium pool, pointing out the obvious health risk to the athletes who use the facility. National Stadium Pool. Yes, I'm a group represent Jamaica for character games and a bag of things. Recently, start training a little bit back again. Watch out. Welding plant, the right side eye. Every time he comes to me, I saw. Metal are going on my lungs. I mean, I know a whoop a thing this, you know. I don't know if it's for the national stadium to build them thing there. Okay, those things are necessary, but right beside where them people are swim, bro. With them little young athletes, they are swim for Jamaica.